the rookie defense attorney. Like, wrong, wrong voice. Things I do to, to please this rookie defense attorney. trying to use the phone on the wall and she just used her cell phone. And just used her cell phone. Huh. Do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! Uh -huh. I'm going to ask the same thing. I was just going to ask you something. I only say, I'll only say this one time. So listen close, rookie. Rookies. Um, I think I'm just going to use this place for this part. Because I don't know what, which place she's making right now. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. I guess she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled out her own cell phone from her, out of her pocket. During that time, you climbed over the chain link fence. Then I boldly grabbed her arm. The chief prosecutor hung up her phone. Looks like she dropped it when you grabbed it. And you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Wright? Ha you have to be like Clark Kent to see through that partition, Miss Star. She made made to escape? Can be more specific. She, she brushed aside my hand and ran. It was a terrible sight to see, like a dollop of lard on a plate of frog raw. Huh? She even kicked over an oil drum at me. An uh, oil drum? There was an oil drum lying on the side of the scene of the crime. But it, but it's strange. Hmm? What is it? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run? Why didn't she run the other way? The other? Oh, the car entrance. That's right. It doesn't make any sense that she would run behind the partition into the oil drum. Excellent! More mysteries! I wish I could solve a few before finding more, though. So, must guy try to run? Wait, sorry. I'm so sorry my sister is so... I'm sorry my sister is so suspicious, Mr. Wright. Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it! You have to believe me! Yeah, why... What? Objection! Yeah, you gotta be like Superman to see through the partition. Angel, I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. Objection! The witness is a fallen detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shining armor, prosecutor? You, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Huh. What? 
I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Ahem. Let's take a look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed the crime at, from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen him, seen Miss Sky making the phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. The emergency phone was on the back of this partition. If indeed you were in B block, you couldn't have seen it. What? Order, order, what is the meaning of this? It's simple, Your Honor. She's not coughing up lunch, she's coughing up lies. Uh. What's that's quite a clean, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you, you will allow me a question? Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's a counter attack. Here's where the counter attack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. This witness lied about where she saw it. She tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. The, what, is, what is significant about this fact? Nothing. But it would be pointless for her to lie about it. Pointless to lie, I see. The one is still you actually seen this guy using the emergency phone. In other words, Mr. Witness the crime from a different direction. Location. A different location? Now that's now that's a pointless lie if I have the head one. Before you call my lie pointless, I can at least tell me at least let me tell it. Let me ask the question to our clever woodsmith, Mr. Wright. What just where the was a witness when she saw the crime? All the testimony we've heard of until now points to one direction. The place where Miss Star witnessed the crime was here. With her with one of her boyfriends in the security room. Right over here. See she she could see the whole thing from there. The car, the partition, and the and the wall phone. This is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room. Indeed, the security room is in the underground parking lot. In the underground parking lot, it's well positioned. It is built on the second level, so you can see the entire lot. <clears throat> she would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. Plus, she has a boyfriend who's a security guard, so she says. But why there? There are so many other places she could have seen the phone. Not in this case, Your Honor. No one is not, not being part of the prosecutor's office. Couldn't park in A block. The only place she could have seen the crime in, in the back of the partition is here. Remember your testimony? Remember any testimony? You said you brought a lunch for your boyfriend in the security guard room, right? Well, Miss Star, how many year, how many years have I been getting better men to think the tables could have turned? Could be turned. Today, a man got the better. The better of Angel Star. Order, order, witness. What have you done? You used to be a detective. 
You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty party will be punished. And and all I got and all I and I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty. She's talking about Miss Guy. Um, Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make any sense. Huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. If this photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. That's that truth still stands. Objection! It still stands? I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. What? If a witness is to be found lying, they are guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk it risk that without a good reason. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Huh? Me? Who else? Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Miss Star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from B Block. This must make this must make a vital difference. But it must make a vital difference, but what? What could change? The distance of, to the crime? It changes the distance between her and the crime scene, and the scene of the crime. My condolences, Mr. Wright. But one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. The distance between the scene of the crime and the Guard station is 30 feet. Yes, yeah, she said she was about 30 feet away. I don't see how that's would change what she could see. Objection! What she saw is not the question in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Miss Starr, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there to, to the scene of the crime where you were arrested, Miss Star? Well, witness. You. Yes? You ordered the squid wheels, right? The quality of lunches has gone from low to inedible. A PB and J lunch to my fresh boysenberry jam, my fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. Boysenberry, boysenberry for a boyfriend. He wasn't, in, he wasn't in the guard station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the well, the glass wall station. Before I knew what. What I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. That's why I had to go through the visitors' parking and be blocked. That's quite a detour. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. Five minutes? Um, if you if the door was locked, how could you arrest Lana? Before she got away, you know? I mean, I guess you did see her making the call on the wall phone, but by the time you got to her, she must have finished calling whoever she was calling. 